guys, today is another episode of Doug's Pandemic Vlogs, episode 27. Uh, nothing new, too, nothing crazy new. Um, just thinking, what, what can I tell you? Uh, I opened up a new figure, I posted the review today. This video is probably going to be coming out tomorrow. But I opened up my John Stewart Green Lantern figure from the uh, New 52 line. I really like this guy. He's he's great. Um, anyways, so you might be clicking on this video because of the title of the video. Um, by the way, college starts in two weeks. Shit. I didn't do anything this summer. Anyways, uh, so I wanted to quickly show you my two new... Marvel Legends displays. Um, one of them I'm not totally, you know, happy about because it is kind of bare. But, you know, there's the saying, sometimes more, uh, less is more. Uh, so there's that. Uh, so you'll see it in a second. Um, so one of them is like an Avengers, kind of just Marvel in general uh, display. And then one of them is exclusively Spider-Man and Spider-Man villains. So I'm very, I, I really like this, this Spider-Man shelf. I think it looks really good. So um, let's just get right in. So quickly, I wanted to show you the figures that didn't make it onto the new Avengers slash Marvel show. So Iron Fist didn't make it there, unfortunately. Uh, King Cobra or S S Serpent or whatever his name is. Uh, Eel, Luke Cage, uh, and then... I might actually throw these two in there, because uh, I like this pose of him just holding him down. Uh, but yeah, Black Panther and um, Claw there. And then I'm showing you the my Invisalign thing. Um, so I think I might just throw Deadpool on the uh, Marvel shelf as well. But these are all the Spider-Man figures that I took off of my shelf. And um, replaced. I'm, I thought about putting Mary Jane in there, but... You'll see why she's not. Uh, so, anyways, let's show the Spider-Man shelf. And I can move this guy over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, obviously, you can see just Spider-Man about to take on all of his villains. And my god, this looks cool. I might I might pick up a couple more Spider-Man villains just to fill it in a little bit more. But we got the new version of Carnage there. I love this figure. I kind of forgot I had him but uh yeah he looks great and then you got Sandman but I have him kind of looking to the side so you don't see his busted face there so yeah and then you got Green Goblin in the corner you got Morbius uh, Lizard I was about to say King Lizard but that's, I don't even think that's right uh Doc Ock Jackal really great figure I wish I could get a couple more and then you know kind of like a little bit of an army builder builder uh, Mysterio, Venom, obviously, and then Rhino. That's like one of the Toy Biz Rhinos. I like that figure a lot. Tombstone, uh, Shocker, his name. And then Craven the Hunter. And then obviously, front and center, we got Spider Man looking badass as hell. Ooh, yeah, I, I'm, re I'm really happy with this. You know, like, I, I love simple things, and this is a very simple shelf. Uh, just all of his villains, all ready to go at him. And he's just ready. He's just like, let's do it. Now, I thought about putting Mary Jean right behind him, but that doesn't make any sense because... It's like, why? You know, I don't know. But, and like her being in front, I don't want her to block... But yeah, anyways. So here's my MCU shelf. You've seen this before. Um, I've, I've posted this before. I want to check that video out. Uh, please do. But here is the new Avengers shelf. Now, like I said, it is a little bare, but I might come in occasionally and add a couple a couple figures here and there, maybe replace some here and there. So let's start from left to right. So we got Iron Man in the corner. I don't have any major Iron Man villains, so that's why he's just kind of there. I really like that figure, so I did want to, want to include him on the display. Then we got, um, you know, uh, Thor going against... Um, I forget his name. The Dark Elf. If I had Loki, Loki would be there, but I don't. So, a comic version of Loki, that is. Uh, I wanted to put Wolverine in here because I love Wolverine. So, I got him going against Silver Samurai. 
Or is it just Samurai? I, I don't know. But I love that pose. That pose is great. Then we got Hulk, you know, grabbing, absorbing man and being held back by a, a, uh, Abomination. That's cool right there. Then we got Kingpin watching Daredevil and uh, Bullseye fight. So, well, until I get the hand ninjas opened, I might actually start making this more of a Daredevil display. But we'll see. We'll see. And we got Ghost Rider in the corner being badass. I love that motorcycle. I really want to get the Wolverine one, but it's a bit pricey. And then on the side, we got uh, Punisher with the gun. Looking cool. So, yeah. Like I said, it's very simple, but I, I, I do like it. Um, uh, I don't know where I would put Black Panther in here and where would I put Deadpool um I don't know but I wanted to get the core Avengers members and then I wanted to give Daredevil his own space cause uh, Daredevil is my favorite Marvel hero it's Daredevil and then Hulk and Spider-Man uh, those two you know Hulk and Spider-Man can definitely swap places now and then but Daredevil is like my absolute favorite he's so cool uh, anyways so yeah, those are my two new uh, Marvel Legends displays. Uh, so this whole shelf is now exclusively Marvel. Uh, when it comes to figures, pops, not so much. But when it comes to figures, it's all uh, Marvel on this one shelf. And then these two are going to be exclusively DC. So yeah. And I, obviously I got that one over there too. Uh, my 12-inch Marvel Legends, which I really like. My favorite one over there is probably the Hulk. He's just so massive. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Let me know which uh, display you like better. The Spider-Man one or the Avengers slash Daredevil one. So sick. Anyways. Uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm trying to get all three of them in there. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.